So yeah, then it's now later in the day. I'll just do a quick overview of the stuff here, but then I have to still edit the vlog because uh, I never managed to do that. I didn't really have any time this morning. So uh, there's, uh, I'll do a quick overview of this and then edit the vlog and then I can get to potentially processing some of this stuff. So, so yeah, for reference, keep in mind that this entire purchase, all of this uh, here was $2,000 Canadian, and let's just do a quick check right here, uh, 2,000 CAD to USD, and that is 1472 USD, uh, I did ac accidentally send them 99 cents extra by accident, uh, so it's technically $2,000.99, but, uh, that's all good, um, but yeah, so then, first up, we have this, uh, Lego Ideas Treehouse that has been available practically for as long as I can remember. This thing has just existed. It's been out forever, it feels like. I, I think this thing isn't even retired. Now, it's been slated for retirement so many times, but it's never actually retired, unless it just did, or maybe it's slated for retirement this year again, but uh, who knows. Uh, so yeah, there's that one there. And then for all of these ones, uh, the minifigs and stuff are usually just in a bag on the side. Uh, so yeah, there's that stuff there. And then there's actually uh, still the sealed bag of uh, the leaves and stuff like that for... The alternative color, uh, it doesn't seem like enough leaves. Okay, there's some more there and stuff like that. So yeah, then that's the first set that was included. Um, next up was this one here. There's a few different things in here. Uh, first up is this Chinese New Year set. And it is, uh, well, that set there. And uh, this one's uh, over here. Uh, on the side of this container, um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff everywhere from it. I think this is also part of it, probably. Um, then next up is the bookstore modular. I think that's what this thing is, at least. Uh, you can see over there. Pretty sure that's the bookstore modular. And then after that is this uh, one that has a lot of instruction manuals uh, for the donut shop thing. Um, so that set there, and that's also somewhere in here. Uh, you can see the donut from it. It's a cool donut. Um, and then also um, more minifigures. I think this is from the bookstore modular. Yeah, you can see the instruction manual there, along with just a whole bunch of other random parts from it. Then after that is the Ecto-1, or is it Echo one I don't know. Um, so that's in here. This is the more recent version. Uh, from the set. I don't think there's any minifigures from it. Uh, and then also the uh, Beatles submarine. Uh, initially, uh, it was advertised with all of the minifigures, but apparently he could only find two, but then he included three. I think he only counted these two as minifigures, but I'm pretty sure Brooklyn counts that one as a minifigure. So there's technically three of them, so two of them missing. Uh, does this thing... It does open, but there's no minifigures in there. Just thought I'd check. I have no idea what that is. Beatles was long before my time, so there's that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Ecto-1. So there's that. My dad picked up some bags this morning. That's completely unrelated, though. Uh, then uh, he messaged saying he wasn't able to find two of the sets. So some of the stuff was uh, last-minute stuff included. And I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Uh, it was only missing, like, 100 and fifty dollars of stuff but then he included like if i remember the thing correctly it's like three hundred dollars or so to replace it uh but then i also threw in like a five dollar manual uh from like 19 something and so then this here is a dragon dance guy brick heads pretty sure that's from a couple years back unless it's the replacement one but i sold one of those guys a long time ago or a couple of them for a good amount then next up is this random set I want to say this is a promotional set, but I can't say I remember it. Might not have been. So there's that one. Then there is also an owl. Um, again, it looks like a promotional set, but it probably isn't. Uh, then after that, there was some uh, other architecture sets, but then there's also this space one here. And so then uh, there was a variety of architecture sets. This one here is uh, Sydney Opera House. Then we got Shanghai, London, New York. Um, I 
don't know where that one is from. Oh, Sydney. Oh, wait, there's two from Sydney then. Uh, then there is that one there, which I can't say I remember offhand which one it is. Oh, it's Eiffel Tower, so that's got to be Paris. Speaking of which, I don't know if I've ever actually seen these before. Okay, so that's a sticker, not a brick. Um, and then I can't remember it's in here somewhere else, but I'm pretty sure there's also an older uh, one from... Um, I don't know, but it was, I, it was one of them, an older one that was worth a good amount. Uh, so there's that stuff there. Then underneath this box, there was this, uh, VW Beetle, I think, or is that a Beetle? I don't know much about cars. Uh, let's see. I don't see any identifiers on that thing, but that was in here. Um, then there was also this one. I think this one... I don't know, they both look pretty cool. I think I like the other one a bit better, though, but this one's like the one from, uh, was it Guido from Cars Movie, I think? Uh, not entirely sure on that, though. Uh, then there was the Apollo Moon Lander thing. Um, it's falling a bit there, but then there's that one. Um, there's a lot of stuff to put everywhere, so... Uh, hopefully not much falls. Then this one here is the only one that I could see any, uh, issues with. It's a bit yellowed. It is the, uh, space one, uh, instruction manual is probably, uh, here somewhere, but it's the, uh, space rocket thingy that you can easily see there. And so that one's just a little bit yellowed, although it may be the lighting, but no, I think it's a bit yellowed. Yeah, you can see like here on like, for example, uh, these parts right here you can see the color difference between those two so that one's a bit yellow but that's fine i didn't really notice any other major issues with any of the other stuff uh, i have no idea what that's from probably some supports for this one uh okay so this here is the fiat nuova 500 and then this one is it was that the same one um i have no idea and I genuinely can't tell if the color printing was just bad on that or if they actually intended for it to be that color. But then either way, in this one here, there was this uh, set right here, just a three-in-one creator set. And then there was um, more from that, I think. And then there was, or no, there was, that was from this uh, burger truck thing here that... Uh, See if I can get it out. But the burger truck. And then after that was the haunted house. So that's a pretty nice one. Uh, this here is the haunted house modular. And so that's pretty cool for that one. Um, I think that's all from this box. And then on this one here, there was this uh, Vespa bike thing. Um, then there was also the Transformers, uh, what's his name? I know his name, uh, it's, I'm, it's, it's, so I'm not remembering it right now for some reason. Optimus Prime, that's his name. Uh, haven't watched any of it though, so, uh, then there was also this stuff here, which I think is part of the Vespa, and then just, um, extra parts for Optimus Prime, and stuff like that, so there's that, and then this box here was uh, a couple other things. So we've got this Christmas ornament thing, uh, Chinese New Year, I think, as well. Uh, so there's that one. And then there's the chip in the bottle set, plus a whole bunch of really random extras that were thrown in. Um, not quite sure what some of the stuff is from, uh, but it is in here. So there's all of that stuff. And then there was uh, this one here, which is the architecture, not architecture, archaeology one. And there's another bag from it somewhere in here. Um, containing more of the dinosaurs and stuff like that. Uh, then there's this uh, McLaren Alva set. Um, now this one I think is a promo, although I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then there was this one here. It is a Garganto Showdown. He said bonus, but I think this is one of the ones that he used to swap um, the ones that he was missing, uh, along with uh, a couple other things. So there's that stuff. 
And then there is this uh, Thanos, uh, not Thanos, uh, Thor and someone from the new Asgore, Asgard uh, one. And so there's that. And those are pizza boxes. So that is a win there. Uh, so that is uh, instantly a good set because there's pizza boxes. Not sure what the uh, rest of it's about really. Uh, well, actually, no, I think that was the one where they play video games. I've seen a couple clips of that online, though I'm not entirely sure. Um, and then Hidden Side, there's that one. And then there was two of these train sets, um, 4370. Yeah, this one here. Two of those in here. Um, then there was, oh yeah, here's the rest of the stuff from the archaeology one. So there's that. And then, um... There was this Once Upon a Brick set. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to find the minifigures for that one yet. It might be in here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just wasn't able to find them. They might be hidden under something. Then there's also this uh, vehicle thing here. And then the... I hope the name's on one of these. Uh, the name is not on one of these. Is this the Parisian restaurant, I want to say? Uh, modular. So there's that. And I can't remember if this is the one that retired only recently or if there's a different one that was just kicking around for the longest time ever. I guess the best way to find out would be to search up the instruction manual on Bricklink 10243 and check if it's worth much. Because if it's an old modular, it'll be worth a whole bunch. But if not, probably nothing too crazy. So $15. So it might be somewhat. Oh, yeah, 2014. Uh, I know one of them was available for a long time, but I guess it wasn't that one. So that's nice. So yeah, that one's in here. Here's the minifigures from it and stuff like that. So there's that box there. And then uh, move this back here. And then just move this paper from with some details. And then there was this nice uh, Ninjago boat thing. Uh, Destiny's Bounty, I want to say. Uh, it's been a while since I've watched Ninjago. Um, so there's that, and then lastly, I think, yeah, lastly is this box here, and this box contains the Friends set from the original one, I think, so, like, the original one, Lego release, not the second one, then, um, I don't know where to really put this, I'll put it on the floor, I guess, and then after that is the NASA Discovery spaceship, so there's that. And then there was uh, more of the inserts for that in here. And then there was uh, the International Space Station. And then lastly was, um, actually this might be two separate ones. I'm not entirely sure now. Uh, it might be one. Let's actually check the instructions. Okay, it is just one uh, for this set right here. And that's the one here. So yeah, that is a quick overview. Well, looking at the time that it was not too quick, but uh, yeah, that's just an overview of everything that was in the pickup. So uh, yeah, then uh, time to work on the vlog and then uh, hopefully start figuring out what I'll part out, what I'll sell as complete and all that fun stuff. So uh, yeah, time to get to work. So whether by uh, done intentionally or not, looks like uh, Bricklink, they merged one thing that they were not, uh, did not say that they were. They merged the one part of here, 44302, with the groove. Uh, they merged that with all the other ones. I'm, if I, I'm understanding it correctly, uh, 44302 and 54657 were supposed to be merged. So we would have 44302 and then the new one here. But they merged all three of them, and the one thing that Bricklink always does is if an item has a groove, that item is separated from everything else. It's just the way that Bricklink is. Um, and so then they merged an item with the groove and without a groove, so most likely this was not intentional. But uh, yeah, because even the uh, catalog administrator, uh, Randy F., is not too happy about that. And uh, so yeah, hopefully that can be undone. Uh, but uh, at least uh, I misunderstood when I was making the archive page because I did catalog all that stuff. So at least it's not lost, but hopefully they can at least just undo it somehow. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem too good. 
So yeah, then I guess I should have probably specified exactly how I will go about uh, figuring out all the stuff here. So um, yeah, I finished with the vlog now, and there's a random piece of cardboard on that table for some reason. Um, so yeah, then now I'm just going to start with a simple one like this here. So first up, I will go get eBay open on one tab, and then um, type in Lego. This is 404. Nine, seven. And one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people don't type in something like Lego set 40497. They just type in Lego 40497. So that's just a really interesting and bizarre thing that I've found out. So there's that uh, to keep in mind. But then uh, I'll go by lowest price. And because uh, of the auction thing, I have everything set uh, to American stuff. So it doesn't really show shipping options uh, for the most part. Uh, but then I also go to Bricklink and type in 40497 um here and so this set parts out for thirty dollars uh but then if i can uh see well in canada only on this side here so yeah the set complete sell uh new sells i think that's new at least sells for 30 25 uh 30 so it's about a 30 dollar set either way and then we can check on bricklink what it's worth as a normal set and uh so then on bricklink it is about 19 dollars um and stuff like that it's really not a desirable set uh by the looks of it so let's check the solds four available one sold at 16 dollars so although this one's listed for 30 dollars there's one sold at half that price and then there's also on bricklink if you group by currency it's also closer to a 20 dollars set so then looking at all of that stuff there yes i know it's probably a seasonal set so it probably sells better in december and stuff like that but this here is just the type of set that if i list it as a new sealed set it's probably going to take years and years to sell even at just 25 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that so for something like this it's probably not necessarily the most profitable uh option to do it that way but then this one i'll probably end up parting out on bricklink so that's for that but then some of the other ones are used ones so we've got something like well i uh, it's the Apollo lander, but that thing was just retired, I think. But this one might be a bit older. Uh, but then I'll just check out real quick. So then it is, type in that number thing. And of course, there's no hits. So let's try modifying it. That is not the same one, but maybe it'll remind me of the name. Wait, it is the same one. Okay, maybe only the front? No, it's still different. Um... That's the different one. Interesting. Did the license plate numbers get swapped, perhaps? Let's see here. Um, no. Interesting. Is this... Oh, maybe they were just put on the wrong color parts, perhaps. Uh, let's take a look. Or maybe the stickers were used in the wrong spot or something like that. Um, interesting enough there. So then we've got this one here, but I'll just ignore that for now, unless it's like a different version or something. Uh, but then right here, this set goes for about $86 used on Bricklink. Uh, well, it's actually group by currency and excluding complete. It's about $90 set in Canada. So then I type in one of two, uh, seven one. Yeah, seven one here. And let's look, so 75 bucks, uh, but then the rest are new. So is there any sold? to look at here. So this one, $70 used. Um, the light kit probably didn't add much value. So it's about a 60 to $80 set, some a bit higher at the $100 range. But then if I go and check the part out in used condition, 10271, we can see that it parts out for $130. So on Bricklink, I'd be able to get about $130, well, plus a few other things, and plus the stickered parts are probably worth a bit more. So then there'd be that with the lower fees on Bricklink, or if I sold it complete on eBay, I could get, uh, what was the one listed at, uh, $75 is what I'd have to price it at to compete. It's missing something that, or it's just assumed incomplete. Um, yeah, one piece missing, uh, paintbrush thing. Uh, so yeah, then it'd be about $75. So this is another one that I'd probably part out. I know that not all of them are worth parting out. Uh, but I, some of the, most of them usually are worth more parted out. So I'll have to check 
each one individually. See, so yeah, and now I'm going to go through every single set, see what I should part out, see what I shouldn't part out, and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, going to definitely take a while, but, uh, yeah, should be able to... Well, the thing is about this stuff, aside from the one set in there, or something that I showed earlier, it's all very good condition it's adult owned it's not like it's some random collection from 30 years ago so for this type of stuff you do need to check overall levels for damage and stuff like that but unlike if i'm going through bulk you don't have to check each individual part all the sides and stuff like that because it's just built once adult owned stuff so it's something that is a huge time saver for stuff like that so it will be faster to part this stuff out um for them compared to if there's just listing bulk stuff so i may go that route because it's not going to take too too long and uh i know everyone says parts take t longer to sell than the actual sets but at least for me selling stuff on ebay or complete sets in general is by no means a fast process and uh so i have a lot of parts so if you only have a few parts it can take a long time to sell them all but if you have a lot of parts it's very consistent overall like i mean for example this set here if i were to list it for sale now uh let's just use some approximate numbers they aren't going to be exact say uh i can sell it complete for a hundred dollars or i can part it out for a hundred dollars um then or when well, actually complete is usually less so let's say i can sell it complete for 75 bucks or part it out for a hundred i can list it complete for 75 bucks it might sell this year might sell the year after maybe even longer than that but then if i were to part it out for the hundred dollars then i know almost as a fact that within a year i'll have 30 to 40 dollars of it sold and so on and so forth so it's usually for when you have a lot of parts for sale it's usually a good option to part that stuff out so uh yeah except for some uh miscellaneous stuff like uh if i find any they'll probably show them it's usually just better to part it out and uh, for some of them it's just as quick to part them out uh even sometimes faster than if you were to actually uh go ahead and uh, list it as a complete set but then here's an example of one that i would sell as a complete set it's got a sticker up here uh, so it's got a bit of box wear on it, uh, so that would have to be described. The box is in imperfect condition already, so it's not like it's getting much worse condition by taking that off. Uh, but then uh, this set is still sealed, as you can see on both sides. And also when you shake it around, you can definitely hear the sealed sound, not a used one. And I'll look closer off camera and stuff like that. But then this one here uh, parts out for used condition uh, for just $17. Uh, actually, no, it's new condition. I don't know why I just checked used. Um, new condition parts out for $20.76. Uh, new sealed sells for $20 to $35. And then also when you look on eBay, well, there's none available in Canada. Let's first check the solds. Uh, so one sold in Canada, used condition because it says complete, presumably. Um, but then looking at the other ones, if I exclude Canada only, uh, and then just scroll past all those remarks, we can see $36.00. $38, $40. So in the Canadian market on eBay, probably get like $40 for this set here. I'm pretty sure I've sold a couple of them in the past as well. Um, so yeah, this one here is one that will get sold as a brand new set, uh, not parted out. But for the most part, I presume that uh, I'd say at least 80 to 95% of the other stuff is going to get all parted out but we'll have to see. My main concern now is drawer space because it'll take a lot of drawers to part out something like this. Uh, but unlike new stuff, which I eat, put each a lot in a drawer uh, for new parts, I use parts, I put like a whole bunch of different stuff in a drawer, so it's not like it's that much in comparison, but I might need to take over a little bit more of the new stuff again, depending on how it all goes. Um, but uh, yeah, then have lots to do, so time to get started. But yeah, then the first actual step that I'm going to do, which I don't know why I completely skipped over, is I first have to figure out what's what and everything like that. So I'm going to take everything out of the boxes for the most part and just start putting all of the different parts because some of the things have broken apart and stuff like that. So then I'm going to find all the parts for the different sets, group them together, and that'll first free up some space, which is badly needed at this point. But then I decided to just to check and none of the points have been redeemed. Uh, so then I can actually get a little bit more for them uh, from that type of stuff there. But not all of them have it. And I guess I could have used that method to see earlier uh, how old this one was because there's no codes on these and uh, stuff like that. So then I can just redeem a few and uh, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, overall not bad for that. But uh, yeah, just starting to take it all out. 
So the uh, this instruction manual here, funny enough, uh, when I scanned it in, opened it up as this set here. So uh, yeah, that was an interesting one. Um, I feel like that was released a long time after this. Um, yeah, oh no, 2021 was the copyright on this thing. Uh, 2019, so theoretically, I wonder if... Uh, it's possible, although the images and stuff wouldn't have been there, so it probably wouldn't have actually shown anything, but it would have bugged out probably for if you had scanned that in. But I don't even know if the service was actually up by then. But uh, yeah, who knows? But then, yeah, just scanning uh, them as we go. Uh, one of them, it just didn't work for whatever reason. Uh, so it's that. Um, but yeah, just on the last box. But uh, yeah, it's definitely filling up quite a bit and uh had to put this spaceship over there already but uh just about finished unboxing it now so yeah then uh finally have it all out of the boxes so yeah the spaceship and uh truck are over here because they don't fit uh anywhere else but then interesting how that would be a lot of stickers to apply on the inside of that spaceship presumably it's the same on the other side yeah um and then on the table it's just completely filled uh with all of the lego so uh yeah there's all of that instruction manuals are done i'll see if any have value but then uh any that don't have too much value like i mean this year even if it's like five bucks it weighs so much that it's just usually not worth it uh, for that type of stuff. Plus, also, it's got some bending that you might be able to see there and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'll check the values. And for any of them that I don't sell as complete sets and aren't worth much, uh, will get recycled. But, uh, yeah, then uh, lots of work. So, I'm going to probably start now, I guess. So, yeah, just uh, what I decided to do is get a piece of paper and I'm going to calculate the exact value as I go along that I got from this haul um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, then just a quick review of the first one, because uh, there's one of the incomplete ones, is that uh, missing this one and this one. And this one is the most valuable of the Beatles minifigures. And this one is, I think, the least valuable, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but then I have these two here. Uh, and then also this one here, um, and, uh, so yeah, then this one here, actually, I do sell on eBay, uh, I've sold him a couple times, so he's a nice one to get again, uh, because I needed him, uh, to resell because it's out of stock, so yeah, then I'm basically going to write down the values for if the minifigures go to ebay i'll write the values uh that i sell them for and this won't include any selling fees or anything like that so i'll just write down 25 because this is, i usually sell for 25 and so on for the others and uh, yeah just looking at the things other than for like some just dust and stuff like that from storage these things are in amazing condition no damage or stuff like that uh just slight wear from storage type things but uh yeah then uh going to go through and uh work on that so yeah this here is one of the ones that i'm keeping it's like a six dollar instruction manual uh plus so then uh also didn't have dimensions so i was able to add that so that's always good when you can do that and then these three will go to ebay most likely i'll double check these ones because the funny part about selling is that usually the higher the value the minifigure the more unlikely it is to be worth more on ebay that might have been confusing, but uh, it probably makes sense somehow. But basically, if you have like a $10 minifigure, it's probably worth like a $10 Bricklink minifigure. Then it's probably like 10 to $15, some a little bit higher on eBay. But then if you have like a $50 minifigure on uh, Bricklink, it's usually about a $40 to $50 minifigure on eBay. So I'll have to check for some of these and stuff like that. Uh, but then uh, the rest of the set will get parted out. Probably don't have enough drawer space for all this stuff, so I'll probably have to get some more. But uh, yeah, then uh, time to get started. I did actually find some minor damage. Well, not minor, but it is damage on the one. You can see that there, the back of the torso actually has a crack. So there's that along with dust or bubbles or just something. But uh, yeah, well, since it's super zoomed in, you can see every imperfection. Uh, but yeah, then uh, the torso is cracked, so that one will not be going to eBay. So just finished with the Beatles submarine set, and uh, there's a variety of uh, parts in it that weren't in the set, along with some damaged ones that also some of them weren't in, this, weren't in the set. Like this one here is just not from the set. It was damaged and it was inside and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just a couple of the damaged parts and stuff like that. So I'll have to separate those between the damaged ones and the ones that just weren't in there. Uh, but then the set itself is 
now here so it's all of these parts which have already all been put away and uh so yeah then it's that one there so all of that oh i forgot to delete the beetles from the end there if i go back will it save i know sometimes it doesn't okay yeah it saved there because sometimes if you click the back button it won't uh save or remember anything that you did um but then uh have to delete these guys here because either they aren't here or they went to the other one um so let that load again real quick uh for that should be done in a second i hope well it takes a second there we go so then it's just all of those uh guys there for all of that stuff so that is 103.03 .03 for that uh so 103 uh 103.03 .03. uh so this here is what i'm at so far from just the lego uh beetle set so let's add that up 25 35 uh 7.5 27.5, 15, 6.5, 103.03, because that's for the one uh, germy thing. Uh, that's for the other minifigure. That's for uh, the instructions. That's for the hairpiece from the one. That's for the head of the one. Uh, that's for the torso. And that's for all the parts. So we're at 219.53. So we're just over 10% of the way to our goal from breaking even. And still have all of that, that, that that and that and that left to go and that so yeah brick packer is uh broken i remember seeing something in the forums about it um but uh yeah it's broken kind of it's not fully broken uh orders are still sinking perfectly fine between the two however it's just simply you can't upload from BrickLink to Brick Owl manually or anything like that because it can't load the inventories but I just had a syncing email and that worked perfectly fine so I'm in no rush per se to sync it uh but uh, yeah hopefully it gets fixed soon but at least it isn't broken in a way that uh is uh, bad like I can have issues or anything if an order comes in so it seems like it was not a mistake that uh, BrickLink merged the two parts. So that is really concerning uh, places because uh, things because I'm like I don't know if I'll be able to find it. But the one thing that BrickLink is known for, for lack of better words, is that they always separate the groove and without groove versions of the part to the point that if I can find it real quick um, on my profile on instagram i actually made a meme about it a while back of bricklink where literally every single time an item has a groove they will separate it and then now they're all of a sudden saying that it's classified as a cosmetic thing and that the grooves are distinguished as the same reasons for the teeth and since they're removing the reasoning for the teeth they're also removing the reason for recognizing the groove but that's like the one thing that Bricklink's just like known for. Basically, they always separate the groove. So that uh, may very well open up uh, what they were saying about if it goes well for uh, doing future ones. So it is possible based off of how he's saying this that they may just outright be getting rid of the groove without groove versions. Although it's really confusing because the items up for this merge included some of those for the base tiles but all they did was renumber them they didn't merge anything and they said they're not merging that so it's just really confusing at this point but uh yeah who knows it's uh what but uh yeah that's uh not an accident yogurt time so i woke up this morning ate breakfast then fixed the computer then fixed the dishwasher then had yogurt now i'm down here and i'm going to probably quickly spend well not quickly but spend a whole bunch of time trying to do the most useless optimization ever uh basically i've got a thing on my project where if you search something uh if the results haven't changed or some other factors it doesn't uh go through with the search uh just to prevent uh all of the fun stuff of spamming search or something like that so i'm just trying to find the most optimized solution to uh basically end the search if it shouldn't go for it so instead of just having it meet all of these parameters and if it doesn't meet any of them it then fails or if it doesn't 
if it passes, it, it then searches. I just want to like have the one thing, and then if it doesn't have that, it fails. But then try to do it in a very specific order, just for the fun of it. Honestly, I know it's realistically the most minute performance change, if any at all, but it just seems like it's going to be fun, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, but then uh, once I'm done with that, then uh, going to get back to parting stuff out. Uh, these ones here look like they might be a fun one to part out next, though I may want to, uh, first try to get through some of these instruction manuals, because a lot of them need dimensions, well, at least some of them, uh, so then I'll try to add those, and then, uh, see if I'm parting out the sets or not, just so I can clear these up, because this here is dense, I almost tried picking up the table for a second, so it felt really heavy, but it's just a lot of instructions there, and then, uh, yeah, just going to slowly start trying to get through some of this stuff, uh, and I just thought of something that it might be a good idea if I actually bring some of this stuff upstairs because my sister and my mom, uh, for some reason, just really enjoy taking stuff like this apart. So I might uh, see if they want to take some of this apart uh, today and that might speed it up a little bit. So I'll have to figure that all out. Uh, some of it will have to be dusted off. Like, I mean, this thing is in very good condition, but it's just dusty, as you can see there. So I'd have to clean all that stuff off first and everything like that. But then, uh, yeah, lots to do today. So I will get to work now. So yeah, Bricklink just posted in the forums. Apparently there's another phishing email going on. So uh, just be extra careful if you get any emails from Bricklink or supposedly from Bricklink, as this time they're of uh, going to bricklinks.net and uh, instead of bricklink.com. So uh, yeah, it's another sketchy thing, but at least there's OTP, which should help, uh, which uh, I've had enabled since day one, although it's a bit buggy, uh, but I might, I don't know if it's on Bricklink's side or just on my end because um, I have a iPad that I use for, to pull orders, but it's like 15 years old and it crashes kind of every time I try to enter in the password. So I have to set it up from that or something like that. It gets confusing fast, but uh, yeah, then uh, just uh, good to have a heads up about that. So just finished with the next Lego set uh, with the space one, a few damaged parts in it, um, but then the rest of it, it can now get put away. So that one's done now. Um, and then there's, uh, yeah, should probably start with a larger one next because it probably, I did a couple small ones now, but actually I probably shouldn't though, uh, because I do have to make sure I have enough room for orders tomorrow. So I might do this one here, which is kind of in the middle. It's not as big as one of these ones, but it's larger than some of the smaller ones. So we'll have to see, but, uh, yeah, making progress. So that one there is 25, 29. Uh, for just the parts, the minifigures are going to eBay at those ones there. And uh, so next up, man, I'm just going to quickly list this one here. It is the uh, sealed uh, dragon dance guy. Um, and so then I'll quickly list that one just to get it out of the way and then probably work on this one. So it took a while longer than expected, but I finally took apart the set, but it's already 9.30 something, 9.38. So I do have to pull orders, but then uh, have all the stuff set aside. These parts here are just practically inseparable. Uh, I tried uh, with prying and everything like that, and it just would not separate. Uh, so these ones here are just goners, basically. So there's that. Um, so yeah, then tomorrow, hopefully can uh, get some of these guys uh, parted out, uh, now that it's all taken apart, let's see if I can stack this precariously on top of this, and this here looks, oh no, that is part of that, okay, I thought that might have been another one of the things from this here, um, but yeah, then that is now parted out, uh, filled up a few drawers from the other set, so I'll put that stuff away, pull orders, and then, uh, yeah, it will, uh, hopefully tomorrow finish up that set and then continue with the others. So yeah, Bricklink now just sent out the email about the uh, uh, phishing thing because uh, they posted it in the forums earlier, but uh, yeah, then they finally sent out the email. They said they're going to, and it looks like they did now. You over time. So just finished shipping everything out. Uh, now it's time to get back to work. I uh, have this stuff here from uh, the New Year's set. So this I can finally finish up with now and then the transformers guy is uh now just about done being taken apart upstairs so i might work on that one next um so there's that or i might do a simple one like this one here next and then i finally got some more new bags of 
uh, for the freezer things. It's 120 of them for, uh, here's like 13 bucks compared to if you go to any other store, it's like a pack of 20 for like $10. So this one here was a great deal. Uh, well, not quite $10 for 20. It's like seven or $8 for 20 of them. If you go with the name brand or something like that. Um, so then there's that. Um, and then I just realized the top of this tower, if, is it missing? It looks like it's missing but i don't know for certain it might just be missing a brick or it might be missing another section but who knows on that um but uh, yeah then uh going to get to work on this then once this is done can work on the next one and hopefully get this all cleared up but i'm out of drawers again so let's just see currently where we're sitting at with the drawer situation currently i am in the low 600s so i think i've started in the past but then basically i just check to see where the next empty drawers are but all of these ones here are filled this one it's about 50 percent. i usually leave that one uh but then this one here it's you can easily see the bottom of the drawer i'll take that one uh, but then, yeah, the rest of these drawers are still a bit full. This one's good, so I'll take that. And so I basically just go through the drawers and find the next ones. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's too many uh, here. Uh, so yeah, then I just need to find the next ones. This one here I'll take, because as you can see, it's not too full or anything like that. And I do tend to fill up my drawers quite a bit, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, then I basically need to just keep finding drawers. And I'm almost 100% certain that I don't have enough drawers for all of these. However, I did recently finally find all the missing drawers for that thing that were in there. Uh, so then uh, that's like the first time in probably two years that I've actually seen uh, this complete. I know I put the last drawer that completed it a while back, but I didn't even think of it when I did that. But now this, uh, these six units are finally not missing any drawers. But yeah, then by the time I hit the last one there, as we can see, let's just find a random one that looks partially empty. Like this one here, I could probably put more stuff in. So hopefully by the time I reach the end, then that stuff will have room. But uh, it's starting to look more and more like I'm gonna need to borrow this row for used while I finish up with this stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll see. But then uh, time to get back to work. Well, I thought I was about to uh, just quickly finish up with this and then get all of the parts put away. But then uh, I tried hitting control F so that I could quickly locate the 3L bar because I found another one that I had deducted previously. And so then I did, con I tried to go control F, but because of force of habit from coding and stuff like that, I did control R and refreshed the page and lost everything. And I have to start back from the beginning. The only thing that I have saved is because on the other screen, I have the thing part out so I can just confirm some stuff. And so I had some of the su stuff saved from uh, the box numbers for the minifigures and the descriptions of those because I had already done that before. Uh, but then everything else, the, the deducted quantities and all that fun stuff is completely gone. So that's not fun. Um, and so then, for example, this part here, I have to find exactly which drawer it was in, re-add the remarks, re-check the quantities. Luckily, I, for the most part, remember the parts that had a little bit of wear that I had to add descriptions for and stuff, but that is not fun, so that's going to take a good little while to, uh, fix. Um, but then, uh, yeah, I finally was able to turn the heater off. I think it was driving me crazy and that's probably why I slipped up because it's like 20 something degrees outside right now, but I leave it, the heater on during the winter, but, uh, since it's still February, it was on, but it's just getting so warm and it's so warm down here and I was probably just getting messed up from that, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be good fun to fix. So it's time to start that, I guess. Yogurt time. But yeah, then this is the end of the vlog, so then, yeah, hopefully today can get that sorted out. That's going to be all good fun and take a while for sure, but there's that. And then hopefully be able to part out a bit more from over here, uh, but yeah, who knows. The Transformers one is just about finished being taken apart, so I might work on that next. But then let's just quickly see. We've got, still waiting to hear back on the one that got returned for that, but then we've got one two three four five six that's part of it i think seven eight nine 
10, 11, might have counted that twice, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, 31, 32, 33, I think, 34, Lego, well, no, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we got 39 sets left after that one. Uh, and I hope I can somehow salvage enough drawers because there's just not going to be enough. I filled how many up with just this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and, well, 18 to 19 from just this one here. So, yeah, it takes uh, quite a few drawers for some of these. But, uh, yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Uh, today is a Wednesday, so the next vlog should be out on Saturday. So thank you for watching if you got this far.